Well, it's the day that Munster Hornet fans have been waiting two years for. After falling in the state finals in 2014, this year's club had the chance to win the school's first ever championship. This calendar year, there have been three reported cases of sexual assault on the 40 acres and UT officials acted quickly in response to the new allegations. Jordan Speed, the North Texas native and UT alum, and last year's winner on the par 5 14th, going to put this in for Eagle. The Oklahoma City Thunder took one to the chin last night, losing to the Minnesota Timberwolves on a last second Ricky Rubio three. The next time you visit this Texoma school district, you will not want to forget your photo ID. Coming up, we'll tell you how school administrators are keeping your kids safe. The phrase on the bubble, continues to haunt the Texas men's basketball team, but to increase its chances to shake that status, Texas needed to win its final two regular season games at home, and they did. Jeremy, what exactly will this new business be producing? Well, Dan and Maureen, that's right. It's actually oil derived from the marijuana plant, but it can't get you high. Rather, it's aimed at helping those who suffer from epileptic seizures in accordance to the Texas Compassionate Use Act signed into law last year. Well, tonight at 7 in this building behind me, residents are expected to gather to voice their concerns and to ask some questions about what exactly is going on. Now, your award-winning local sports coverage. Well, it's the day that Munster Hornet fans have been waiting two years for. After falling in the state finals in 2014, this year's club had the chance to win the school's first ever championship. They'd had to get past the defending state champions Canadian in the final. Early going, Cameron Copley puts up the deep ball. That's good. And Canadian is out in front with that lead. Munster down five in the first, but Blake Hefner will get that one inside. That'll cut the deficit to three. Second period, Logan Cook will go right to the hoop, drop that in, and it's tied. But it's the Wildcats, who are just too much. Copley puts that in and gets the foul. Canadian takes home the title, winning 56 to 46. A lot of uncertainty this evening concerning the Oklahoma State basketball program. ESPN's Jeff Goodman reported earlier today that the Pokes were likely to make a change at head coach, implying Travis Ford is on his way out. But not so fast. According to sources at the Oklahoman, no decisions have been made on the head coach. Coach's future will likely have more information after Ford's year in review with AD Mike Holder, which is set to take place early this coming week. The Cowboys went 12 and 20 this year. Neither of these guys going anywhere. Bill Sales, Jayhawks, and Bob Huggins Mountaineers are battling for the Big 12 title. KU down early going. Devontae Graham dialing this one up from deep, and it's good. Jayhawks down two, but KU now up. Wayne Selden going in off the glass. He'll put this one, and it's a six-point lead for the regular season champs. Devin Williams had a big game for the Mountaineers. Here he is working hard, but it's Kansas who will get the win. 81 to 71. I see him on the field every time I step out there. I see him in the classroom. I see him with everything I do here at NCTC and even when I'm at home. But to be able to honor them and be able to receive this scholarship, it means everything. On Friday, North Central Texas College announced who would receive the Angels in the infield scholarship in honor of Brooke Deckard, Jaden Pelton, Megan Richardson, and Caitlin Woodley. It's such an honor to be able to accept the scholarship. I mean, they they meant so much to us. With community and national support, more than $51,000 has been donated to the scholarship, given to members of the Lady Lions softball team in good academic standing and recommended by the athletic department. It's every, every sophomore that was affected by this. The college decided to award not one scholarship this year, but 10 to the sophomore players directly affected by the September 2014 bus crash. A semi-truck driver who, according to the NTSB, was likely high on synthetic drugs, crashed into an NCTC bus carrying the women's softball team, killing four players. Both Kaylee Armstrong and Megan Durante were both on the bus when it happened. To this day, we just like laugh about the memories we have of them, and we never really bring up what actually happened. Memories like playing a game of sardines, a variation of hide and seek days before the crash. And now you just you look back on all those times and it's like, wow, it's like they had such an impact on our lives. They they changed our lives as we didn't know that back then. But now we look back and it's 
it's just awesome. Assistant coach Taylor Christian says the players are learning to live life to the fullest and to do things the right way. These four young ladies did things right and they showed, you could just tell by their communities what they were and those ladies know exactly how they live their lives and I think it kind of inspired them to be a little more like these four young ladies. And the players say their angels in the infield will never be forgotten. The families of the girls were, they think that, um, or they might um, be scared that we will forget them, but we won't. There's no way that we can forget those four girls' lives. They have impacted us greatly, so they won't be forgotten. In Gainesville, Jeremy Thomas, News 12. For now, they are no longer teammates on the gridiron. Police arrest two former Longhorn wide receivers, Kendall Sanders and Montrell Meander, both charged with sexual assault of a woman who knew the suspects. This case involves the issue of initial consent for one person, but not the other, and then the original consent being withdrawn. Arrest warrants show the alleged incident happened last month in Meander's dorm room after he gave the victim a ride from 6th Street to San Jacinto Hall where they engaged in consensual sex. Police say Sanders then showed up and forced himself onto the victim who then also withdrew her consent from Meander, but police say neither man stopped. This calendar year there have been three reported cases of sexual assault on the 40 acres and UT officials acted quickly in response to the new allegations. Shortly after both suspects were arrested, Longhorn head football coach Charlie Strong suspended the two indefinitely. In a statement, he said treating women with respect is one of the team's core values, and he was extremely disappointed that the two players were accused of not doing that. UTPD officials say the fact that football players were involved in this case had no bearing on their investigation. Our detectives did a great job in terms of in ignoring that and moving forward and looking at the information and finding the evidence. According to police, the suspects were texting each other during questioning and there are search warrants for their phones. Sanders is also charged with improper photography of the victim. Both suspects posted bond from the Travis County Jail and a court date will be set in a few weeks. Jeremy Thomas, KXAN News. Pretty fast, completes the number seven. 